Hi Ace, I'm going to keep going here to help you get moving on your midterm. So now I'm going to try to fill this space. You can fill it with anything you want to. For me, I'm just going to create a little starburst. So I'm going to click on this tool, the Polygon Frame tool. I'm going to come down here and make sure that I have Polygon Frame Tools selected. And then I'm going to make a click, one click, which will bring me this box. So I want my uh, number of sides to be, oh, I'm going to say 20, and my star inset to be 30%. I'm not sure I'm going to like that, but I'll try it and see what it looks like. So after I click OK, then I can draw my star. I'm going to fill it with yellow. And maybe I want that yellow to be more gold. I can double click this and just put a little magenta in and click OK. There, that's a little nicer. So with my arrow tool, I can reshape this or move it around. I don't want to go outside this pink border. So I'm going to stay inside of it. And if you don't like that, just remember, you double click here and change your percentages. Maybe I think uh, 15 sides or 12 sides is enough. And maybe I want to do uh, 25%. Click OK. And there's the change. So you can make this as, I'll get this tool to resize it again. Maybe I like it overlapping that in a gestalt way that uh, connects these two items. And now I'll get my T tool and type just the word free because maybe I want to say inside my starburst that this is free. I'll use a sans serif font. I'll make it bigger. I can go even bigger. Let's see what that looks like. Not bad. What if I rotate it just a little bit and I can kern it some? Maybe now that it's kerned, I can make it even bigger. Oops, I made it too big for the box. See that little plus sign? There, I think that's a good, a good start on that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, let me zoom out, is try to fill this space from here down to the blue line with my impossible image. So in the next video, we'll go to the uh, Photoshop and build an impossible image, okay?